Dying is easy. Comedy is hard. You can't just leave him like this. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funny movie funerals. Technically, I did not kill Heather Chandler, but hey, who am I trying to kid, right? For this list, we're taking a look at big screen funeral scenes that unearth the humorous side of death. If you're looking for something a little more depressing and grim, be sure to check out our list of the top 10 serious movie funerals. Deacon, he dead. Put me on program. I need to finish my sermon. Remember that. Also, we should warn you, spoiler alert. I mean, one minute you're in bed with a knockout gal or guy, and the next you're a compost heap. Number 10, I've got that joy, 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 joy. Jackass presents Bad Grandpa. I was hoping my daughter and grandson could make it, but uh, <laughs> they didn't. It's common for people to make a scene at a funeral. I wish I had more time with her. I wish so much of our time had not been consumed by combat. We'll take all the crying widows in the world over this incident from Bad Grandpa, though. Don't do this in front of them. Don't do it right now. Oh, no. oh, God, Jesus. Oh, no. The cringe-inducing comedy keeps piling on as the newly single Irving argues with his daughter. She tries to steal her late mother's necklace, and they knock over the corpse. Sing, please choir sing something, somebody help. This is not good. Oh, 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 While we should feel bad for the deceased and the petrified, unsuspecting choir, all we can do is laugh as Irving breaks out the tambourine in an attempt to salvage the service through song. Number nine, Ave Maria, The Hangover, part three. Alan is full of surprises, which is why he's constantly getting mixed up in crazy shenanigans. You're bluffing. When's dinner? Your mother and I can't take this anymore! Well, you might have to. His reckless lifestyle contributes to his father's fatal heart attack in the third hangover picture. Say anymore, this is my life. Go ahead with your own life, leave me alone. The character is full of nice surprises too, however, like his angelic voice when he sings. It's mind-boggling and hilarious to think that such a heavenly sound could come from such a messed up soul. My God, it's got the voice of an angel. It's breathtaking. What's even more hilarious is the eulogy that follows, in which Alan insults his family, vows never to change, never, ever, and caps things off with a selfie. I was a beloved husband, father, and neighbor. Number eight, God, I love a good funeral, Hot Shots. There comes a time when every veteran needs to admit defeat and retire. Jumping Jesus, they're back. Admiral Thomas Tug Benson demonstrate that his very best years are clearly behind him in Hot Shots, when he mistakes a gun salute for enemy fire. Battle stations! Battle stations! Taking cover behind a coffin, Tug turns the graveyard into a battlefield with people running for their lives and diving into ponds. Seriously, who brings a grenade to a funeral? Tug might have been past his prime as a soldier, but Lloyd Bridges was at his peak as a comedic actor. God, I love a good funeral. <laughs> Number seven, Rufus, Brint, and Mikas' funeral, Zoolander. Rufus, Brint, and Mikas were like brothers to me. Derek Zoolander is probably the only person who can say that he lost his three best friends in a freak gasoline fight accident. <laughs> Dressed in fashionable white, when everyone else is wearing appropriately black attire, the male model salutes his fallen brothers. And when I say brother, I don't mean like an actual brother, but I mean it like the way black people use it. Even at a funeral, however, Derek still gets upstaged by that damn Hansel, who, as Mugatu notes, is so hot right now. Hansel, so hot right now, Hansel. As ridiculous as the circumstances might be, it's hard not to feel empathy for the puppy dog-eyed Derek. I'd like to announce my retirement from the male modeling profession. Hopefully he'll find some clarity at the after-funeral party. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to life than being really, really good looking. And I plan on finding out what that is. Thank you. Number six, you're my boy, Blue, old school. 
You're my boy, Blue! This scene is a bit like the funeral from Hangover Part 3, which was also directed by Todd Phillips. Old School not only did this bit first, but it did it a bit funnier, too. In one of the most uproarious film edits you've ever seen, we jump from the elderly Blue getting the greatest thrill of his life to his fraternity brothers mourning his sudden death. Only for a moment, and the moment's gone. While a sobbing Frank the Tank sings Dust in the Wind, Beanie gets in on the dark comedy and tries to comfort Mitch with unsuccessful results. Damn it, Blue is old. That's what old people do, they die. Number five, It's Awake, Scary Movie 3. Brenda was a good friend when she was alive. Scary Movie 3 isn't exactly a smart comedy, but it does have several bits that will make anybody laugh despite themselves. If only God had taken us instead of our daughter. And knowing your Brenda like I did, I'd say she wishes the same thing. This scene is as hysterical as it is idiotic, which says a lot. Are you okay? It's just a open coughing. I can't believe they just leave it out here like this. Mistaking the meaning of awake, George attempts to revive Brenda's stiff body. I thought you were dead! <gasps> so your teacher's alive! Hello? There are too many great visual gags to count, with George giving Brenda mouth to mouth. <laughs> no, She's not no. breathing. Mahalik somehow punching Brenda's panties off. <laughs> and her cadaver ultimately being electrocuted to pieces. <laughs> Brenda's mother's mortified reactions are a particular highlight while all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Number four, funeral crashing, wedding crashers. Saturday, I got one Saturday. You're coming with. Weddings may seem like the best place to pick up single ladies for a one night stand. In Wedding Crashers, however, Will Ferrell's Chaz enlightens Owen Wilson's John about the true hotspots to take advantage of horny women, a cemetery. Yeah, I'll throw in a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane. The chicks are so horny, it's not even fair. Although he doesn't know the departed, Chaz balls louder than anybody else at the funeral. Damn you, Roger! Damn it! Damn you! In between weeps, he sends his young protege a couple of crude, yet priceless gestures. <laughs> Roger. John, meanwhile, couldn't feel more uncomfortable, but at least he walks away with a new outlook on life and death. The one with Chaz, who you forgot to tell me, is totally insane. Number three, Donnie's Ashes, the Big Lebowski. We're scattering the f***ing ashes, but just because we're bereaved doesn't make us sad. Nobody wanted to see Donnie go in the Big Lebowski, but at least his death amounted to one of the funniest funerals in cinema. God damn it! The dude and Walter plan to scatter their friend's ashes at the beach. Walter can't resist talking about Vietnam, however, changing his eulogy subject. In your wisdom, Lord, you took him. As you took so many bright, flowering young men at Kaysan, at Londoc, at Hill 364. As a matter of fact, it's unlikely that Walter knew much about Donnie, except that he liked bowling. But Donnie. Donnie who loved bowling. Walter continues to do a disservice to his friend as he empties Donnie's ashes from a Folgers can and the wind blows them into the dude's face. Number two, Brick's funeral, Anchorman 2, the legend continues. Why, why, why did you take it from us? As Ron Burgundy attempts to get the news team back together, he receives some heartbreaking news that Brick was lost at sea. Brick was lost at sea about a year ago. Oh, thought he saw a bird and he swam out to pet it. He never came back. Then, as if from nowhere, the brainless weatherman steps up to the podium and begins eulogizing himself. Brick was a great man. Really? And I will miss him so much. And I will not rest until I find his killer. Everybody quickly goes from devastated to frustrated, attempting to open Brick's eyes to the fact that he's not quite dead just yet. God damn you! Brick? Brick is dead! No! Brick's alive! Brick is dead! Look at him! He's not he's dead! He's not dead, Brick. You're not dead. With memorable one-liners, surprises, and zero shame in being absurd, this scene is something like out of a classic Saturday Night Live sketch. Brick Tamlin, swear you'll never die. No. no! You are Brick! Touch yourself! I am Brick! Yes! yes. I'm alive! Yes! yes. <laughs> of course! Before our top pick makes us laugh to death, here are a few honorable mentions. Like me! Now 
I know this is supposed to be a closed casket, but where I come from, we feel it's good to see the body for the grieving process, so... Sorry about that. I'll keep this sucker closed. We must pray that the other teenagers of Sherwood, Ohio, know the name of that righteous dude who can solve their problems. It's Jesus Christ, and he's in the book. Number one, the whole movie, Death at a Funeral. Sit down, everybody, as quick as you can. We're ready to go. Come along, come on, come on, come on. How can we deny this spot to an entire movie that turns death into a laugh riot? The filmmakers tackle every comedic possibility that could be derived from a funeral. Now, I know this must come as quite a shock to you. I'm sure he would have told you himself, but I guess he wasn't sure how you'd react. The wrong body is delivered. The coffin's knocked over by a high guest. The deceased is outed as a homosexual. Well, I think I deserve something. I mean, your father and I were lovers. On top of that, all of the attendees are neurotic, bitter, and selfish, but still grieving in their own way. And why is it all tied up? The film inspired an American remake, but just as you can't reanimate the dead, I cannot believe what a nightmare today's been. You can't recapture the original's dark charm. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Unfortunately, there I run out of words. What movie funeral had you laughing all the way to the mortician? I can't believe my daddy is dead. I can think of so many people I would rather have died first, like my mother. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.